Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Welcome back to another video of Let's Play Mortal Online 2 Alpha. Well, actually, technically it's beta. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so used to saying alpha. Um, but yes, this is the beta. And so today is another version, another patch out. So this is version 0.1.0.4. Okay, now this patch, when the patch notes uh, was released on the forums, I went to look at it and at first I thought, okay, this is quite a quite a good patch, you know, I thought the um, the additions and changes were rather nice and I did like what I saw, but when I went to download on Steam, I was uh, very surprised to see that it's, it is 8.9 gigabytes. So this would make it the, probably the biggest patch I've ever seen for this game. Um, I'm not sure, if, I can't remember if there's another, another patch that's bigger than this one, but uh, I would say this is by far the biggest patch um, I've, I've seen to date. So, okay, so let me just uh, change the volume. It seems a little bit... Yeah, I think I think maybe I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so... If you haven't seen the patch notes, uh, do check it out. I've got a link in the description below, uh, down where um, where it, it takes you to the Steam, uh, you know, the patch notes on Steam. And okay, so so this patch introduces a lot of um, a lot of new things. So it's got more pickables. Just uh, just from the top of my head, um, there's there's standings now. There's a standings system. And so what this means is that um, if you kill someone, they can actually give you a murder count at the at the town or at the priest where they resurrect. So so now, but this is not the same. I don't think this is the same as the flagging system. I think the flagging system is still, you know, on its way. Um, however, this is what we do have now is the standings and so there's a lot there's a lot of things so if you if you haven't seen it do check out the patch notes for this patch okay so this is one of the pickables and so this patch introduces a lot of um a lot of pickables now so so i will just Okay, you've got the grocery vendor. <laughs> and if you've played Mortal Online 1, you'll recognize a lot of this. Um, I remember one of my first, you know, I think one of my first few episodes, I remember going to a a vendor and bought, you know, a whole bunch of um, you know, just food items and just I just chugged, chugged it down and, um, and I ended up throwing up <laughs> pretty badly. So... Let me just see what's in here. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, ooh. <laughs> okay, gotta bank this. Gotta bank this. Where's the um? Ah, oh, where's the banker? Pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, so. Gold. Creeper and soup and silver. Okay, you've got the creeper room. Hey, creeper room. Yeah, I like to have, I like to arrange them in alphabetical order. So this is my. All right. Okay, now there is a um, I think there is a little bit of a bug here when you create your character, and I had to do that because it. Uh, there was another wipe. It seems like every patch um, SV wipes the character, so um, so you will have to go and recreate your character. However, I don't think they um, I don't think they get rid of your all your items. So instead, what what happens is that there is a you know your character just gets wiped. However, its inventory is still intact because when I logged in, I still have my water that I collected before the wipe. So it, it appears that SV is simply just wiping your character paper doll, it seems. 
I don't know. <laughs> it could, that, that could be a bug as well. So, um, but as you can see in my inventory, there is, I've already picked quite a number of, um, quite a number of things. And okay, let me just add my sword to. Okay. <laughs> so I managed to pick up 650 gold <laughs> just off a barrel. It's, it's uh, pretty cool. And okay. And I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear the music. It's it's rather. I think it's. I think this might be a new, new track. I think. So let me just. Yeah, so I just downloaded this um, last night. Now I couldn't uh, get around to playing it until today, so so I haven't actually memorized quite a lot of the patch notes, but I, I do like what I see. So and uh, and also I do think that you know a lot of the player base uh, are all at Bacti. And because I've been hearing on the chat, um, everyone's been saying, you know, everyone's at Bacti, you know, all the fights are at Bacti or something along those lines. So, so I would say that, um, <laughs> you know, a lot of players are at Bacti. So if you're wanting to meet up with players or you want to, you know, have fights, then you probably want to create your you know, recreate your character and begin that back to And so I think because of the size of this patch, I'm guessing that this could be the last patch for 2020, the last patch for this year. So unless I'm wrong, uh, we may, you know, we, we may or may not see another patch uh, until next year, but yeah, so it is uh, around Christmas time. By the time you, you know, it could be after Christmas. By the time you see this, <laughs> depending on how busy I am to actually, um, you know, edit videos and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and uh, hope you have a, you know, very good New Year's. And also, I want to thank everyone for all your support. Um, you know, I think. Quite a number of months ago, uh, I reached 800 subscribers. So now I'm at uh, 830, I think it's 837 subscribers. Can I pick this? No. Okay, so I'm very happy and I'm very thankful to everyone um, for all your support over the years. Um, and yes, I did take a um, screenshot of my, you know, when, I, when my channel reached 800 subscribers. And I have a screenshot of every every time you know I reach a you know every time I reach another hundred subscribers, I will take a screenshot. Yeah, you know, just as a yeah, you know, just as a, like a sort of commemorative um, sort of <laughs> trophy for myself, if you will. And uh, you know, I still remember seeing my first hundred subscribers, and this was back in 2013, 2014 or something. And, you know, this was still when I was running, you know, <laughs> 1366 by 768 resolution and playing all my games on a 11 inch gaming laptop. And so those were the days. Um, but now, you know, I have a, you know, a much bigger setup and so I'm just going to go and explore up there. Just, uh, maybe I'll just say hello. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is going to be another exploration video. I, I want to just continue exploring because, um, like I mentioned in past videos, um, the game, the game world, uh, has more or less altered in. Oh, see it in darkness exploring. <laughs> Oh, that's his name, <laughs> Seer in Darkness. I thought he was exploring in the dark. <laughs> yeah, so like I mentioned, you know, the, the game world landscape has um, has changed in a number of ways. So not only is it uh, four to six times larger. Okay, bug reporting landscape issues. Yeah, so not only is it, is it larger, but um, in many ways, the landscape has, has changed um, because of the in the law. Um, I, I I do know that it is a due to the second conflux or a world altering event in this game. So it's very exciting. I do I do like you know the fact that you know not only is the world bigger, but it's also uh, in some ways changed and. Wow, look at this. You can see... <laughs> okay, so hopefully we can reach Tecton's Bridge, but... But I doubt it, because, you know, your character runs so much slower and... And, uh, you know, and you don't have mounts yet. You know, I was hoping to see mounts, um, <laughs> but... You know, it seems like mounts won't make it until next year. Well, I've got to take a... <laughs> I've got to take a, you know... I need to um, capture this on video. It's just for myself. You know, I like... I, I do like the landscape, so, you know, whenever I see... Oh, look at this. Look at that. Okay, let me just get my stamina back and see, hopefully I can climb up to this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Maybe from getting higher. Can I get to... Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is good. Check this out. <laughs> Which other MMORPG has this kind of um, landscape? <laughs> and and the size of the world is just phenomenal. Okay. So this is just for myself. <laughs> I, um, I've done this before back in MO1. Okay, so let's just continue exploring and on the way we'll see what we can pick because um, I remember seeing on the uh, patch notes thread, I think it's Zul uh, Zol Zolnila, is that how you pronounce your forum name? I um, can't remember if it's, if it's that forum user or not, but they said that they've already crafted their first potion of um, Sea Dew. So I thought that was quite a, quite a, you know, quite a good achievement, I, I suppose, you know, so, so early into the, you know, the patch landed, like, I think an hour or two and someone's already created a, um, what? why is there a, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. <laughs> you won't let me go and see what is there. Surely this, this is, surely there is a mistake here. <laughs> it's an invisible wall. Uh, I, might, I might actually report this. I mean, come on.
Okay, so <laughs> hopefully next patch <laughs> I'll be able to go and pick the plants. Oh, <laughs> look at the banker. How many hit points does he have? Um, Wait, let me let me just see. I think that's eight million, eight million hit points. <laughs> so, unless you have a full, full gang of um, of soldiers and uh, you know blasting, you know attacking him from every direction, you know I don't think you can take a bank take the banker down. And why is there a? Oh, this is. <laughs> Come on, SV. <laughs> I mean, this is like... This is like eight months into, into the uh, into the alpha or beta and you, you're still not letting me go to the side of the cliff. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> So yeah, this would be the uh, the way to Tecton's Bridge. So I'm not sure if they've added any more, any other creatures. I don't think they have because chances are, if there is any other creature, someone would have, um, you know, you know, mentioned it on the forums. I think right now there are only Springboks, and I think this patch also does refine. The spring box and you know the, the textures and movement and things like that so so it is still it is still very early early days and uh speaking of early days um sv has announced that they will delay the launch of mo2 until march of 2021 and so this brings up another topic. I, I really commend SV for actually listening to the player base because, uh, this forum user, his name is very, I think it's, is it handsome young man? Yeah, it is handsome young man. Uh, he put up a poll asking everyone whether they think that the game should be delayed. And the majority of the poll of the people who voted on the poll, uh, agreed that you know, SV needs to delay the, uh, delay the, the game, delay, delay the game launch. And, and I think shortly after that, SV announced that they will delay the launch and, and I was very happy to see it. So, um, well done SV for, you know, for actually listening to the players because, um, had this been a, you know, a big corporate publisher, they probably would have just said, nah, stuff it, we're going to launch. <laughs> even, the, even if it's half finished, you know, even if the game's half finished, you know, buggy and feature incomplete, I think they will just rush it out the door and then just say, oh, we're going to patch it in later <laughs> and maybe even charge for the, you know, they'll probably release the rest of the game in a DLC and charge for it. <laughs> Thank you, SV, for, you know, doing the right thing by the players. And it's, it's a very rare quality nowadays, I think. Um, it's very rare to see game de developers and publishers actually listening and uh, acting on player feedback. Um, it's, I think it's very rare nowadays. But And this is one of the reasons why one of the main reasons why I support SV all these years is because they, oh, the shadow, oh, the shadow moves, moves with you. Wow. Wow, look at this, the shadow moves as you, you know, it changes as with your relative position. Wow. Okay, the sun is there, so, huh? Yeah, this 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 could actually be a bug. <laughs> I thought this was a yeah. This could be a bug because yeah, I think this is a bug. So let me just report that. 
so bear with me guys you know with every bug report you know when uh, the testers are making the game better one bug report at a time So <laughs> do bear with me. Um, oh wow! Look at this. Another. <laughs> I need to capture this. Wow. And you know, I'm not the only one who actually does this. There's a lot of other players who. Oh man! Look at this. This is beautiful. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is what I call the most beautiful MMORPG ever made. I want to capture this with a just with the tree in the background. So, like I mentioned, there's actually um, quite a number of other players who who do this as well. They um, they go go out of their way to to capture screenshots, and SV has actually released you know put them on Twitter, quite a number of them on Twitter, just for yeah, just to show show off the talent of um, some of our some of our uh, content creators in the community so we do have quite a number of uh, very talented and very um, passionate uh, content creators who love MO2 just like I do so in that sense we are you know I think we're, we're very unique in that in, in that in that way um, you know we're not just we don't just play the game play the same game but we we actually have a passion or this game as much as the uh as, as much as sv has a passion for this game and i think that's really important because uh, you can tell whether a game is made with passion or vision or whether it's just made to capitalize on the latest trend and you know just the just to make as much money as possible you know i think you can tell the difference there is um So I think I've been here before. I, I think I should go up there and have a look. So I did, you know. Um, okay, let me just. I'll, I'll resume once I get up there, so I don't. So that I don't, uh, you know, because <laughs> I've already been. I think I came through here last time, didn't I? So I'll resume once I get up to the top of the hill. Back. So I've climbed up to top of the hill. And so this is a very high mountain that I'm standing on right now. And you can pretty much see quite a big chunk of the Milan continent from here. So you can, and it's taken me quite a bit of time <laughs> because of the, uh, the slow rate of movement. And you put the moon there, which is, which I do think is very, very nice. It's very detailed and you, know, you, you can see like there's you can even see the you know the textures the, the, the color color of the uh, yeah you, you can tell that it's very it's much more detailed now so all right so it's night time but you can still see quite a bit of the Milan landscape so now I did also hear as I was traveling some some sort of creatures some sort of noise coming from what I think is could be a creature and and I'm suspecting that it could be night snatchers or belbuses so it could be that SV uh, sneaked them in through the patch now they didn't tell us that there was any other creature additions but you know knowing SV <laughs> knowing what SV can do you know, sometimes they uh, ninja patch a uh, sneak 
things into the patch um, that you, they don't tell you. So I've got to keep my keep, keep an eye out for any um, any creatures that may that may be. Yeah, you can hear that. You can hear the some sort of a creature noise. So I've got to watch myself. You know. <laughs> Otherwise, I could uh, run into a night snatch or a, or a belbus or a you know like a undead or maybe even bandits. Though I don't think that uh, SV has added them in yet, but who knows? Okay, so I won't uh, go on for too long because um, you know mainly I just wanted to show you what the view is like from from up here but uh you know it's yeah this is a very 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 big uh continent way bigger than what uh mo1 was you know you know compared to the size of uh marland in mo2 <laughs> Mortal Online 1's Marland is like a tiny island <laughs> when compared to uh, the size of, you know, Marland in MO2. So, but yeah, this is, uh, I think, <laughs> wow, look at the size of that moon. And there's actually two moons in this game. So you've got one here and you've got another one here. So you've got two moons in this game. So clearly this is not Earth. <laughs> You can hear the sound of um you can hear the sound of some sort of creature. I don't know I don't know where it's coming I don't know where it is, but you know, it's unless of course it's uh, part of the ambience, in which case <laughs> I have nothing to fear. But if it if it's not, if if it's actually coming from creatures then just to be safe. So I wonder what's over here, but I think <laughs> I think I've uh, shown you quite a bit today. So I will continue exploring in the next video. But uh, you know this is great. You know I'm hoping that uh, SV will release another patch before end of this year. But but given you know the uh, given the fact that they most likely will be taking a Christmas break, um, I I highly doubt it. But um, anyway, I think they've, they've uh, earned themselves a, you know, a well-deserved break. So, yeah, but this should be enough for us to play around with until, until next year, beginning of, you know, early next year when they resume their, when they all go back to the office for next year. So, um, but yeah, this is, I really do, I really do like what I see and, and, you know, I, I'm very confident um, at, you know, where the game will ultimately be when it launches. Um, I just hope that, um, you know, that, you know, when the game launches this time around, uh, it will be, it will be met with a much greater reception and uh, there won't be, you know, all the issues that plagued the Steam launch back in 2015. And I do have a video for that. Uh, and it was, a. Uh, <laughs> although I did like to see so many players logging in, you know, I, I also know that there was a lot of issues. So hopefully this, this time around, you know, we won't have, have those issues. And hopefully this game will you know, get off on a, get off to a good start. It will start the right footing and, and yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, this game will will be met with great success and you know, even if the uh, mainstream gaming websites won't uh, 
you know, won't give it the time of day because uh, I haven't seen that many gaming websites uh, look into this game. Or if I have, uh, a lot of the times it's 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 negative to you know mediocre coverage at best. You know, I've not seen that many uh, mainstream gaming websites. Uh, you know, but I, I suppose. You know, this this is a niche game, so it, it, it was never meant, uh, never made for the masses, and so in that sense, I think it's understandable. But, um, but I still believe, you know, this is, you know, in my heart, I believe that this is the the best MMORPG ever made. You know, in my opinion, in my heart of hearts, and. So, regardless of um, you know how little coverage this game gets, or how underrated it is, you know this game yeah, will have my will, this game will have my support, you know. I feel like I'm getting closer towards something, some sort of a creature. Because it seems like I'm hearing some sort of, uh, you know, screeching of some kind. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like um, Belbuses. Or what what they would call hyenas in the real world. Uh, it, it seems like they may or may not be hyenas or Belbuses. Let me just see. If, it's, if there's nothing, then I'll just, you know, I'll just log out. But... But yeah, you can, as you can see, um, you know, the light, actually, the moon actually casts, you know, real light, uh, dynamic light. So, you know, in areas where the moon doesn't shine, or it doesn't, uh, you know, the light doesn't penetrate, you can see uh, way over there, it's very dark and here it's much brighter and so I really do like that you know it, it really gives it gives the game another layer of um, realism and immersion okay so I don't, I don't think that there is uh, many pelvises but but boy <laughs> you know I think I've um, explored new ground today so uh, so I want to thank you all for watching today and hope that you enjoyed this video as much as uh, I had fun making it and so if you could please uh, like comment subscribe and share this video do also remember to hit the bell icon you know next to the subscribe so that you will um, you know, get all the notifications whenever there is a new video out so but for now thank you very much for watching today and uh, hope to see you guys next time this is fun gaming connoisseur take care and have a good day and also merry christmas and hope to see you all next year unless of course sv drops another patch which i highly doubt it but who knows <laughs> you never know with sv you know sv is all, always a yeah, sv you know has a way of surprising us in, in un unexpected ways so Thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.